This, as you know, uh, member states of the United Nations have agreed in the Sendai framework to reduce disaster risk. They've identified, uh, committed to seven global targets and to indicators to measure the progress against those targets. This meeting is a fundamental step in rolling out this monitoring global accountability system to measure their progress in implementation. You know, if you don't measure things, they don't tend to happen. And uh, the commitment by member states to be held to account at a global level is really remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable what's happened. These processes, regional platforms where in regions are developing action plans to reduce disaster risk as part of implementing this global agreement, have made tremendous progress. You have uh, legislation enacted to reduce disaster risk, you have building codes, you have zoning, early warning systems, evacuation. The progress has been absolutely astounding and I think the UN has a played a really fundamental role in, in encouraging this progress and promoting it, including decreases in loss of life from major natural disasters. The challenge is with climate change, with unplanned economic development that doesn't incorporate risk, that the costs are really going up and we have to address them. Climate change is arguably the single most urgent disaster risk issue and reducing greenhouse gases as quickly as possible the single most urgent disaster risk treatment because if we don't reduce greenhouse gases quickly all of our other efforts to uh, reduce disaster risk are going to be overwhelmed by rising seas extreme w rainfall or floods droughts storms uh, we will just be overwhelmed in our efforts to address disaster risk unless climate change is prevented. So I think this is the really fundamental urgency. It's urgent because unlike other hazards that reoccur, once you've committed to warming, you can't go back again and that the hazards will just accelerate out of control. So for me, and, and none of us is adequately prepared. No country in the world is adequately prepared for what we will experience if runaway climate change. I think there's a general appreciation of people here that climate change is a fundamentally important element of hazard, of disaster risk. Uh, and all, many, many countries are now embedding climate risk as part of disaster risk in their economic planning. And of course we have the Paris process which, you know, there are always some states that maybe are not quite as actively involved but hopefully over time and sadly, unavoidably I think, they will be as the frequency and severity of these disasters in Increase. Well, first of all, countries themselves are taking decisions to invest. Mongolia, as part of their legislation, just to give an example, are allocating a percentage of their annual budget to disaster risk reduction. There's also a commitment in Sendai for international cooperation. Members have agreed they will help in terms of implementation of this agreement by providing technical and other support to less developed countries. And at this conference, a number of initiatives were discussed, including a climate risk early warning system, crews supported by donors involving UNISDR, the World Bank, and WMO to help countries put in place early warning systems. I think there's a huge commitment to move forward on the monitoring. There are a lot of gaps in the data that we all realize we need to help plug, but everyone realizes the monitoring system is the key element of accountability at the global level, so there's a very high commitment to move this forward, and we have deadlines. We have to move them forward. So, really important initiative discussed uh, here today. Thank you.